Hey guys, it's Claire here and today what I wanted to do is to share the five books that have most changed my life and my business and helped me to generate more than $2 million in revenue in just under two years in my business. And I know that sounds like a big call and I know it sounds like a spammy call, but it's actually the truth. And uh, learning, growing, reading is really what has elevated my knowledge, but also the inspiration and things that I have to achieve the things that I've been able to achieve. And these books have been absolutely game changing for me. So I wanted to share what the five books are with you. Uh, they are absolutely highly recommended by me as essential reading for anyone who's trying to build a business. And let's get stuck into the books. Now, before we do, if you are watching on YouTube, please do consider subscribing to this channel. I share lots of tips for designers and creative people who are building their businesses. So I hope that that is helpful to you. And if it sounds of interest to you, then please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you can be notified when, biz when businesses, when my videos go live. And if you're watching on IGTV, then thank you very much. And please be following my page to uh, get access to more videos like this and other tips and tricks that I share. If you're not following my Instagram page, please do make sure that you do that if you're watching on uh, YouTube because I do share heaps and heaps of ideas over there as well. So um, let's get on with the five different books. Now, book number one, I talk about it so much because I love it so much. This is a really quick read. This is Show Your Work by Austin Kleon and it is absolutely a game changer. If you are scared about showing yourself on social media, if you are always overwhelmed and confused about what you should be posting on social media or what sorts of content you should be creating on videos like these or blog posts that you might be writing, this is the best possible book that I can recommend that you read. It won't take you very long to read it at all. You can see how much I love it. Look how many dog-eared pages I have. I've got highlighting all through it. I read this book so much. I read it over and over. It's a really fun book to read with lots of different sorts of um, sort of cartoony type pages in there to read and it takes no time at all to go through. But what it will teach you is how to document your journey. And that's probably the biggest possible thing that I can teach you and share with you about how to grow a really big business. And that is to start documenting your journey from now, not from, uh, you know, just like start doing it now, no matter what size your business is at, because that is how you will build an online community of people who you can, um, you know, do things with, collaborate with, and eventually who may buy things from you as well. And that's exactly what has happened to me in my business. I've made some great internet friends along the way. Um, I've had some great collaborations with people along the way. And then ultimately, I have turned that into a big business of selling things uh, off the back of sharing helpful content like this and other content that I share and then turning that into products and services that people value and purchase from me. And a lot of that and a lot of the ideas behind that have come from reading this book. So I, if there's any other book on this list today, this would be the one that I recommend. The second book is something that I read multiple times a year as well. And I don't actually even have a hard copy of it because I usually listen to it on Audible or I just read it on my, on my phone here. And that is Anything You Want by Derek Sivers. This is a fantastic book. So it's very short. Um, it's 40 lessons for a new kind of entrepreneur. Listen to it on Audible because Derek Sivers reads it on Audible and he's a very quirky guy and you get a lot more personality of the book through Audible. Um, and so that's the way that I like to mostly consume it. It will t I think it's only like an hour or a few hours long to listen. So you could even listen to it out on a walk. Um, and that's why I do read it every, every, a couple of times a year. It's full of just little tips and tricks and ideas about how to think about business. And for me, it's such a valuable book because it talks about the value of being in service to other people uh, and how that service and being providing a great customer experience above all else and thinking about your customer above all else and above making money is how you actually end up making money. Because if you go into something just thinking, I want to make money, I want to make money, Generally, they're the people who don't make a lot of money. If you go into it giving freely, sharing freely, 
creating the best possible experience you can for people, inevitably money and success and all of those things come back to you. And that's a lot of what um, Derek Sivers shares in this absolutely fantastic book. So that is highly, highly recommended on my list and why it appears number two. The third book on my list is Rework. Uh, and this is a great book. It's very practical. Um, it's got a lot of just really practical, again, very easy to read, bite-sized pieces of um, tips and tricks. You can tell the books that I really like. I've always got lots of dog-eared stuff in the books that I read over and over. Um, and Rework's definitely one of those ones I come back to. Probably for me these days, the, the advice in here is a little more um, fundamental knowledge, but if you are just getting started in business, this is one of the books that I would highly recommend that you spend time reading. Again, and this is one of the great things about some of these books, or actually all the books I've shared so far, is they don't take any time at all to read. Again, you could sit down for a couple of hours and get through this book, um, and you will get so many fantastic takeaways from it. So that's Rework. It's very, very, um, these all have underpinnings of the same sorts of themes about um, different, the new way of running a business, which is really to provide value. Um, and then in response to providing value, you will find that you make money and build something successful for yourself in response to that. And that actually is the same theme in my fourth recommended book, which is Superfans by Pat Flynn. I've been following Pat Flynn for ever since I first started my business, you know, nine years ago. Um, and his book is fantastic. So again, the same um, principles apply, but they're sort of all talking about it in different ways. And so you will get different things from each of them. But in this book, um, the, under, the, un, the underlying sort of theme is about building community. And so many of you will have heard of Kevin Kelly's, you know, famous essay, A Thousand True Fans. And so this is all about building that super fan. So the person who will buy anything from you, who likes every post that you put out, um, who, you know, is commenting all the time in your DMs. And the idea is that you build up that community. And as a result of building the community, like with the many of the other books that I've been sharing, you eventually turn all of that into something that is a great successful business that's also really wonderful to work in because it gives you a lot of satisfaction to be providing so much value to other people. So um, this is another book on my list that is highly recommended and has a lot of practice. These are all very practical uh, books that will give you very, very practical ideas uh, for your business, no matter what stage of business you're at, quite honestly. So they're not beginner's books. They're books for anyone at any stage in business. My fifth book is the 5am club and again i enjoyed listening to this book on audible so it's a great one to listen to as you walk along on a walk or whatever um it's i was already getting up at five o'clock when i in the morning when i read this book but for anyone who has ever been wondering whether they would like to um, play with the idea of getting up earlier in the morning this book will help you to um, understand why that's so great and um, give you sort of a framework to think about how you can go about doing that. It's all built around a sort of narrative, um, which is nice because you learn more from story. So that's sort of why I like to listen to it on Audible because it's got a nice sort of story that sits behind it. Um, and it's really, really helpful for those of you who would like to think about whether getting up earlier would be helpful. Ever since I started getting up at the crack of dawn, so it's got earlier for me, I actually now get up at four o'clock in the morning um, without an alarm clock, seven days a week. And I don't say it to be like, yay, I'm so wonderful, but I just love that time of day. I just love it. It is so quiet. There's no distractions. I can start my day peacefully. I sit over there and I meditate for a little bit using my Headspace app. And then I do a little bit of journaling and then I will start a deep work session for the day. And by the time my family's up, I, and then I'll go and exercise, and by the time people are up at seven, I basically will have got done in those first few hours almost like half of what a person would do in their full day, and it's only seven o'clock in the morning. So I absolutely love, love, love that time of day. Um, I know it's like so fashionable to get up early. I don't do it because it's fashionable. I've actually always been an early riser, but I also do just attribute getting up so early to... Um, the success that I've been having in business. So um, it's not so much that this book taught me to get up at 5am, but it's more that I would pass on to you 
that part of my secret sauce to success would definitely be the fact that I get up in the mornings and I proactively start my day with intention and with um, proactive work on things that are really important that actually move my business forward. And as a result of that, I've seen a lot of success coming from it. So I love that time of day. I couldn't highly recommend it uh, trying to get up at that time of day to find some more time for yourself and to build something that is of importance to you. So those are my five absolutely fantastic uh, books and they have changed my life. They have changed my business um, and people do often ask me for book recommendations. So I hope that's helpful to you. I know I've recommended some of those in the past, but some I just thought I would remind you of some of them and some of them and perhaps new to what I haven't shared before. So thanks very much for watching this video. Again, if you are watching on YouTube, please do consider subscribing to the channel and hit the notification bell. If you're watching on IGTV, thank you very much for watching this far and make sure you're following along on my Instagram page at The Little Design Corner if you have not uh, started following me over there yet. So thanks very much for watching today. I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.